Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're gonna tell you how to hook up your studio monitors. So I got these KRKs right here and how to hook them up to your laptop computer. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So first off, thanks a lot KRK for sending these for us to test them out, really awesome. I am really an amateur, I am not a music composer. However, I do like to listen to music. So this is going to be a version of these hooking it up to a laptop from a person like me. So before you get started, one thing you wanna know is studio monitors, if you don't already know this, are a little different than regular speakers. The hookup is a little bit different and they are able to be fine-tuned more than just your typical stereo speakers. So first things you're going to need is, I'm going to go ahead and flip these things around right now. Okay, so I went ahead and flipped one of these around. So as you can see on the back of the KRK Rocket 8s, these are the G4 version, but as you can see, they don't have your typical stereo plugins. So what they have is these TRS female outlets, and this is what you're gonna need in order to hook these up to your laptop computer. So how do you do that? Well, on your laptop computer, it might be different than mine. I have a MacBook Pro, as you can see right here, and then the MacBook Pro, this is an older version, so it just has the headphone jack right there. So if you know anything about headphones, this is not going to match up with your KRK studio monitors. So how are you gonna do that? First thing you want, you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna need a TRS male plug. This is what I have right here. So this is what I picked up on Amazon. I'm not sure exactly how much it was. I think it was around $10. Be sure to check the description. I'll try to leave a link there. But basically what this is going to do is this is a male plug and it's gonna go right in here into the female section of the KRK Rocket 8 speakers. And all you do is just get this little dot up here to line up on the top, boom, and it just slides right in really easily. And there you go, that's it. And I got the split one, so you can actually get one that's just one plug going to one outlet. And this is the 6.35 version. You can actually get one that fits directly into your computer. I didn't do that because these particular speakers, I assume that maybe one of my friends want to hook up their guitar to it, maybe play it, and that's way they can just plug right in. Or if you use professional equipment, you're probably going to need a 6.35 plug. But if you do that, you're going to need an adapter in order for it to go into your computer. So I went ahead and bought one of those as well. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the adapter that I was talking about. So as you can see, it has a female 6.35 going into this male 3.5. And all you're gonna do is just go ahead and connect these. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so sorry, it's a little strange, but you just pop it right in there and there you go, you have it set. And again, that's completely your choice. If you buy one of these TRS plugs, you can get it to where it comes with a 3.5 millimeter right here. I decided to go ahead and buy the 6.35 with the adapter and also, so another thing is if you're going to be using two speakers, I got this little setup where it's a Y frame. So let me go ahead and flip this one around and I'm going to plug this one into it as well. All right, so I went ahead and flipped that around and what you're going to do is just take this other side of the TRS plug. Same thing, just plug it right in there, pretty easy. Just pop it right in. All right, there you go. So now you have it split. You got a red and a green one and then it just goes into this Y cable and it, you just follow it all the way to the end. It just comes right here to this. Now the KRKs do come with a powered, I guess you would call it powered subwoofer. If you know otherwise, be sure to leave a comment below let the rest of us know so this cable you do not need to buy it comes with the rocket however this TRS plug you do need to buy it it does not come and then also if you get the 6.35 you will need the adapter into a 3.5 so let's go ahead and flip these back around and I'm gonna plug them into my laptop and show you how that goes all right just real quick before I plug it into the laptop I'm gonna go ahead and show you this little setup so there you go it's all you're gonna need two plugs one and two and these are two independent separate wires for each individual speed or studio monitor if you want to call them that. I'm not sure what the difference is. If you happen to know if it's okay to call these speakers or they are only called studio monitors, be sure to leave me a comment below. So these are both set up right here like that. And so you're gonna have four plugs and then here's a little bit closer. This is the volume and adjustment. And then there's the power button. Each one of these has a power button. Before you turn these things on, make sure it's all plugged into your laptop before you turn them on. Let me switch back over to my laptop. Okay, so I got this pulled up on my laptop right now. We're gonna go ahead and try to listen to a little Beethoven, not little Bow Wow, which is on the Pandora. But right here on the side, you can see there is that headphone jack. So all you're gonna do is take this and just plug it right into your head Phone. Boom. All right. So that's the setup. It's just one wire going in. Let's go ahead and turn these puppies on. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing the music first on the laptop. Okay. So now it's rolling. And I'm going to flip back over to the back and turn the speakers on now that everything's hooked up. All right. So here's the back of the speakers. I'm going to go ahead and turn them on since everything's plugged in. On and on. So the speakers let you know it's both on. 
let me flip back around to the front. So there you see it. KRK is lit up, so they're both on. So this studio monitor's on, this studio monitor's on, and they're both playing. Let's turn it up. So as you can see, they're both playing right now, so that's pretty nice. Sorry, the sound quality is probably not that great coming through this video, but I just wanted to show you how to hook up studio monitors to your laptop. If you have an easier way to set up your studio monitors with your laptop, be sure to leave me a comment below, let the rest of us know, but hopefully you found that information useful. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.